So I'm not normally one to offer any help to law enforcement, generally speaking, but there was a thing that went out in uh, DeSoto County, Florida, the, from the cops down there that I did feel like I needed to share. This is from WFLA. The DeSoto County Sheriff's Office is asking drivers to keep an eye out for a white truck that's been impersonating law enforcement. The Chevy Silverado, which is a... Cri- which a cri- is just like a cop car. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, in, in down south? Uh, I mean, that's the thing. In Texas, they do hide them. It's just like an SUV. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It doesn't look like a cop. It doesn't say police on it. Just all of a sudden, the lights are on. Dude, yeah. When, yeah. You, when you get down south or even to like far-flung counties in, you know, whatever, the hinterlands of California... Even those places, the federal government just gives these people so much fucking money. They do turn like I saw one where it was like a Dodge Challenger that was a cop car, and I'm like, that's a two door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember on the back. Dude, I, yeah, it's like you're I, under arrest. Now hold on, let me uh, scoot, let, 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 let me push the seat we're, forward we're, a little bit. No, no, we're, we're taking no prisoners. Yeah, yeah. That's the message. Yeah. But see, that's so, that's interceptor. It's not because we're unempathetic killers. It's because there's just no room. But that's always the great joke. Was like forever, like cops in the South on television were represented as like some dude driving his own beat up fucking sports car that he has that light that he sticks out on the outside that magnetically attaches to the roof and then somehow has a siren and fucking that <laughs> shit. These Duke boys can get out of this honeycomb they got themselves into. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Them Duke boys. <laughs> so the Chevy Silverado is equipped with red and blue lights and has also been spotted impersonating officials in several other Florida counties as well. According to police, the Silverado has green decals and that includes multiple decals that say booty patrol. <laughs> I mean, oh. based on every... <laughs> Based on everything I know about God. people in Florida, there is no way this guy is less qualified than yeah, any other shit. person in Florida to be a police officer. I'm just saying. At least there's a chance the booty patrol guy isn't armed and will murder you. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. I'm sure like at back in the stage when people when cops saw his booty patrol sticker, they're like, what unit were you with? <laughs> I just want to meet the guy who... I was with Spring Break, 2002. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm sure at least one-third of cops who saw that truck drive by before all these reports came out saw that truck and were like, it's fucking cool, man. Yeah, It's <laughs> <cool, laughs> fucking cool, bro. Yeah. I got to do that to my truck. Hey, wait. Hey, uh, hey uh, black fella, where'd you serve? Oh, yeah, Freak Nick 99. Yeah. <laughs> Freak Nick 99. Oh, God damn, man. <laughs> like the Richard Roundtree of us fake cops. <laughs> You know, I was telling somebody the other day, there was like kids in my elementary school that would wear the Freak Nick t-shirts that mm. they got, that the, <laughs> or I should say that their parents got, and yeah. just were like, yeah, here you go. And it wasn't until years later when I found out what Freak Nick was that that became incredibly funny. <laughs> Wait, this yeah. is news to me. I what did, is Freak Nick? I did five <laughs> tours in the desert in Reno, Burning Man. <laughs> <laughs> Freak Nick was like a big uh, like co- college age and people who like Matthew McConaughey on college people. You know? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> sort of black spring breaky sort of thing for yeah. Okay. Yeah. Down yeah. South. It was in Atlanta. In Atlanta. Uh, and, okay, okay. Um, yeah. So, and, uh, it was like a big party and like supposedly like I think last year on Twitter they were talking about like there's gonna be a documentary about Freak Nick and a lot of people's moms and dads are gonna be in footage of them yeah. doing all oh, types of yeah. nasty shit in the streets like yeah. Yeah, S and D's and F and A's. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah, no, those girls in the original <laughs> Girls MB. Gone Wild videos are our age. Yeah. <laughs> they're, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're probably B- parents and kids, yeah. you know. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, they had the they had these t shirts and obviously, you know, probably uh were given out in exchange for yeah, like views a, of boobs, it's mm-hmm. fa- safe to assume. And kids at my elementary school would wear them and then <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Pause. So I grew up you... an, I grew up an hour and a half west of Atlanta. So their parents would go to Freak Nick and show their titties and then receive a free t-shirt and then give it to their school children <laughs> yeah. and they would wear them to school and as a child I would just see oh Freak Nick didn't know what it was years later found out what it was and then retroactively it was like oh that's kind of crazy yeah that's a little bit and it's such a wasted opportunity as a little kid to bully somebody it's like oh, your mom's a hoe yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a waste <laughs> and then and then, and it's also that could have started the conversation way back then like somebody would be like well why is this mom a hoe she's just having a good time yeah, yeah. you're <laughs> fucking up with her bodily autonomy you fuck face and yeah, we would have had that. Yeah, we could. We could have. <laughs> <earlier. laughs> 
<laughs> if <laughs> only you had known <laughs> what Freak Nick was, the world would be a better place right, right. now, River. Don't freak shame my mother. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs> We're all freak freaks shame. at Freak Nick, okay? Yeah. <laughs> and what about the guys? Look at that guy's wiener is out. He's not even involved in anything. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's an accountant and he's respected. That's bullshit. <laughs> this guy on the, on the lawn across the street from Freak Nick just helicoptering his wiener yeah. around. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, on the on the on the per- that's where periphery. That, that's where that was born, actually. I think uh, Freak Nick. That was the first time anybody ever <laughs> ever helicoptered their penis around. Yeah, that's right. Take <laughs> your dick out, Atlanta, nineteen ninety three. Oh man, yeah. I want a Freak Nick. Shirt. I'm pretty sure that's like the second thing we did with it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> 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 like cavemen did that. Yeah, that's the second thing they did. <laughs> <laughs> was, uh, there was a pizza place in Auburn uh, called Brand X, and before they closed down, I felt we found out when they were closing. I was like, "Gotta go get Brand X one more time." And, and uh, there was a, I was waiting for my pizza, and there was a bunch of drunk guys in there, and one of them. I think he had just signed up for the military and was really fucking hammered and screaming. He goes, uh, he was like screaming at one of his friends. He's like, "Do you know what goes through your mind when you fuck with a marine?" And the guy's Ooh. like, what? <laughs> a bullet! Oh, and then it began helicoptering his wiener just oh in God. his basketball shorts. <laughs> oh, jeez. Just in the, in the what thing. A, what a hellscape nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, college town in football season, buddy. Uh, Get as yeah. far away as you can. But yeah, sick. Roll Tide. Yeah, no, War Eagle in this case. Any, but, uh, okay, War Eagle. Recollections of where we're from. <laughs> I got your war eagle right here, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, it's a, circling its prey. Yeah, yeah. I assume Brand X was like a like a comic book themed <laughs> kind of pizzeria sort of. No, it was just like I mean, it was Brand or was X. it actual chemical waste? No, I, I think their pitch was it was just such bog standard pizza. It was like Brand X, like no no frills, nothing. Just it is pizza, and it is. There wasn't even a sci fi element to no, it. No. and they and they only serve cheese pepper and that was it. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty limited. <laughs> and but. severely shell-shocked Marines would go in there all the time like, hell yeah, no choices! No choices! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And just to clarify one more time, this has nothing to do with science fiction. No. Because no. Carter was so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah, yeah. Like, so it had no, nothing no to do with it? No metaverses or anything? <laughs> yeah. No, it had a very, it was a very specific <laughs> reference to 1989 uh, Batman where Jack Nicholson says he's been messing with Brand X. Uh, 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 I think it pretty dated that. Oh, uh, by the way, if any drivers have been pulled over by the booty patrol or have any information, uh, you know, uh, go fuck yourself. It says contact the sheriff's department, but no. yeah, no, don't let Dude. that man, let that man have his fun. Let him live his life. Not only let, let him, him have his fun, fun. not only let, let him, him have, have his, his fun. fun. I mean, as long as he's not hurt anybody, let him have right, his fun, yeah. but also imagine the relief. If when you you're... pull over for a Chevy Silverado that has lights <laughs> duct taped to the roof of it <laughs> <laughs> and says booty patrol on the side, well, I feel like you get what you yeah, I'm like, is this, a, is this a citizen's arrest? Like, yeah. what the fuck? Are, they yeah, know when he hops out wearing a female body inspector. Shirt. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. To know I'm good. like more concerned. Yeah, honestly, that. it's like yeah. this guy doesn't give a fuck about the rules. Like, he doesn't even know how to work the body cam. He's gonna fucking. I would say there's two scenarios. One, imagine the relief of getting pulled over, and you're like. And then he just comes to the door and he just rips his pants off and then, you know, party. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Like, I would absolutely oh. look at a stranger's dick <laughs> instead of having a ticket written yeah. for yeah. doing something illegal. Like, at, like every a, time. Like a $20 ticket. Uh, <laughs> like, the other scenario is uh, that would suck is if you got pulled over and, you know, ate a bag of heroin and then he gets to the window and he's like, booty patrol. And you're like, like, oh, oh hold on. I got to stick my fingers down my throat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two, three or four guys are going to kill me over the course of seven Seven days because of what you've just done. <laughs> <laughs> I lost so much product. <laughs> I have to kill you now, actually. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're not yeah. a cop? I'm gonna murder I you. Have now. To, yeah, I have to shagur your fucking ass. Yeah, yeah. I have to right bring, about now. I have, <laughs> I have to bring your head to El Generalissimo yeah. now. <laughs> and explain and I'm still probably have to lie and say some story about you stealing it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. yep. Uh, it's like, yeah. I, I have brought you the head of the booty patrol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it brought you the head of the Calvin peeing on a simple <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chevy, I guess. <laughs>